Hold a moment. You may visit the palace and its shrine, but be warned. The queen meets with trading company vipers. Take care you are not bitten. You will find her in her throne room through the door behind me. Inform the guards of your purpose. Whether the queen will hear you above the baying of her guests is another matter. While I am flattered by the esteemed Hazanui's confidence, I must wonder how my people are meant to have destroyed an entire colony overnight. You tell us. It's no coincidence that your outpost at Port Maje survived the recent storm. You speak as if I could command the tides. While you are casting your blame in a wide net, why not look to our Kahunga allies? We do not share their talent for shaping water. I say our guest forgets himself. Brother, stand down. You are the one who mistakes my throne room for a sparring arena. I say this is beneath us. An interesting visitor in difficult times. You cannot be here to deliver a favorable omen. The gods remember the honest, and so do I. Allow me to apologize as I toss you before the wolves. This one is a watcher blessed by Tangaloa. I suspect that many of our questions about her songo will soon be answered. I know this one. His parlor tricks frightened ten years of every sailor in Queen's birth. We assembled to discuss the darkening of Hasongo, one of Rawatai's colonies. Watcher, it seems you have the floor. Huh. What sailor's tale is this? There's no sane explanation for what's been happening. You keep waiting for one, it'll be too late. Does tilling the soils of the Eastern Reach drive all men mad? You sound as crazy as the Dawnstar Dreamers. Have you not heard the rumors, Karu? An Adra Colossus marching across the sea. Sailor tales, but credible ones. How came a Watcher from half the world away to be involved in these... happenings? Enlighten the court. Tracking down a god who stands as tall as a mountain, a fisherman with poor eyesight could do this. My priests will trip over their feet to interpret his divine plan. Watcher, 
Can you cut through the din and tell for what he comes to the dead fire? How resourceful of you. The eyes are studded with enough luminous Adra to bankroll an economy. I believe our course is clear. We will send the Watcher to Hisongo. Set sail to the west of Nekataka. I would tell you to keep a weather eye out for a lighthouse, but the God of Light did not appreciate competition. Something to add, Hazanui? You have an eager look about you. She believes herself entitled to my ear, I say. Only that Hasongo is a Rawatayan outpost. It would be useful for the Watcher to take one of ours along. Ma'am? Maya's an expert sailor and a better sharpshooter. The best the Brass Citadel has to offer. Whatever comes your way, she'll see it first. If it gets me and Ashiza out of diplomat duty, we'd set sail with a drunk scolder at the helm. Ak, parfito. Do you mean to stop Eothas by shooting him? Seripelagina will go with the Watcher. Show him how the Republic's handled things. Um, Your Excellency, Palagina Messerai has been... banished? She has been seen in Queen's Berth. I can have her report to headquarters. You should feel no obligation to take on additional crew. The choice is yours. Say the word and I'll shoot the tip off a of green boy's nose. You're making a mistake, Watcher. In times like these, trustworthy allies are the most valuable asset of all. Calm down, Nero. I'm sure you'll get one of your spies in place eventually. In the meantime, Watcher, I hope you'll meet me in the Brass Citadel. There's more for us to discuss among friendlier company. I believe we are finished here. Are we here? Aren't we popular? Take care at Hasongo. The dead fire was overfull before Aethus blundered in. Your allies will use you toward any end. Do not give your trust lightly. I say it is beyond time our guests lick their wounds somewhere else. Let's speak. While we have the chance. Your coming is a favorable omen already. Such modesty, I say. You happen by a time when our rivals bicker and tear at each other's throats. <laughs> it does not take a priest to see how the gods send us an outsider to dig under the skin of our enemies. Save your manners for my sister. Kohopa fashioned me for the arena, not the court. I will not paddle around the island. My sister wants to know if you are as useful as you are disruptive. She trusts me to judge this. You did not come this far to serve the crown, I say. But sailing is an expensive hobby. Loyal service can keep your galley stocked. My sister keeps a tight grip on the kataka, but the filth of it drips down her palm and into the gullet. Under our noses, I say, 
Do foreigners smuggle contraband and pay the Rapau for their silence? Take this if you need proof. An envoy ship sank a day's voyage out of Nakataka. He wore that on his breast. My guards recovered it in a raid of the gullet. This confirms my suspicion. Nekataka has a pirate problem. Smugglers and thieves cluster like rats in Delver's Row, a growth in the bowels of our city. You think pirates raiding those Republic's bastards be the source of your people's agony? Wonder what the gullet folk would be thinking of that, sir. Anyone who preys on my people will know Onikaza's justice in time, I say. I want someone to peddle the medallion to the black market, earn the trust of these pirates, and learn how supplies come into my city. It will depend on what you find, I say. Onikaza leaves this for me to handle. While she worries about the manor, I tidy up the basement. Yours is not a face that others will recognize. Let no one learn that you work for the crown. They say you're on familiar terms with Ngati's chosen son, Takeho. See that he joins you in the gullet. He knows something of our troubles already. Ikera, I am certain it doesn't. The voyage will be good for him, I say. Be on your guard in the gullet. I fear the caverns run deeper than even Ngati could guess. Ado Watcher, the Cantonichesi sent for me. It seems the Republics have need of me again, thanks to you. Do you have need of me? Good. Ecosi, you have business here. You are in luck. The governor is between meetings. Go on in. Watcher. From the palace, yes? You made quite the impression on the Cantonichesi. He went on for ages. Welcome. Make yourself comfortable. I am Lueva Alvari, governor in residence of the Villian Trading Company here in Nekataka. What brings you to my door? They speak the truth. A watcher is welcome in these times. Under different circumstances, I'd write up papers for an emissary's posting, no? 
But we have a situation that needs immediate attention. How much do you know about the Luminous Adra trade? It sells for its weight in gold. Our investors have charged us with claiming every vein we can reach. Every viable deposit is of interest to us. Cartographers, surveyors, at any moment we have a dozen expeditions underway. Some weeks ago, we received word of a large quantity of luminous adra on a distant island. Pukukohara, it is not charted on any of our maps. However, Pukukohara is said to neighbor the island of Tikawara, and we've already made contact with the natives there. We dispatched an expedition to Tikawara with instructions to locate the Adra site and determine its value. Our people have neither returned nor sent any word on their progress. We are too long delayed, and someone must finish the job. A watcher can determine if there is essence in the Adra, if it is worth the trouble and investment to remove it. Information for which we are willing to pay. Not much, unfortunately. A few superstitions among the locals, but they're unusually tight-lipped about the subject. Ideally, but if the worst has come to pass, I would like you to complete the investigation of the Adra deposit. Anything that may assist the company. Then it is worthless, and we save ourselves wasted effort. Either way, you will have fulfilled your end of the bargain. Here, I will mark Tikawara on your map. This will be of some use to you, I think. It entitles you to act as a commissioned agent of the Valiant Trading Company. Present it and you will be recognized as such. Until then, I believe we are finished. Return here once you have word of our agents and our prize. Oh, and... Take care upon the open sea. There are greater hazards in these waters than a few pirates.